recognized for a statement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I do arise in opposition to H.R. 1732, the Regulatory Integrity Protection Act of 2015, because it is another attempt to force the administration to scrap the Clean Water Protection Rule and, again, delay this much-needed clarification to the scope of the Clean Water Act. It is important to remember that the executive branch has diligently worked to clarify the scope of the Clean Water Act uh, since, uh, since 19, 2003, pardon me, when Bush administration released their advance notice of proposed rulemaking for public comment. Since that time, there have been six attempts by the executive branch to release their interpretation of the waters of the United States. Uh, and I must add, is, uh, we've waited 12 years for clarity. 12 long years for our nation's streams and rivers, which have been vulnerable to pollution and degradation. For 12 years, our government has spent millions of dollars working on bringing clarity to the decisions made by the Supreme Court. Delaying this further would cost the American taxpayer many millions more. Intervening now and forcing the administration to start over again, particularly when we are on the cusp of clarity, is not only reckless, it is asinine. Stopping the administration's rulemaking to clarify the Clean Water Act would further impact the already dire circumstances Western states are facing with the prolonged drought. 99.2 percent of my states, in my state of California, population, uh, our, our California population drinks water from the public drinking water system that, of course, relies on the intermittent ephemeral and hit water streams. These streams are drying up in the West. And to add insult to injury, our actions today will force the administration to withdraw a rule that will protect those streams that provide that drinking water for 117 million people. This legislation puts legislative agenda of a well-heeled few ahead of our nation's drinking water. And it does aim to protect the rights of speculators and developers over the need to conserve and reuse every precious drop of water that falls in our state and other states. This bill potentially creates new opportunities for individuals to overturn decades of Western water law for personal benefit. We all have concerns about the original proposed rule, Mr. Chairman, but I appreciate the administration has addressed many of my concerns and has addressed most of the concerns of states and stakeholders. Uh, and, and to this, well, we understand that the state organizations, the water agencies, environmentalists, uh, chief environmental officers and legal cities and many other organizations have had input into this uh, uh, proposed r rule that has not yet been uh, released. Uh, and also, Administrator McCarthy has pledged to work with stakeholders on implementation once the rule is final. Let the administration finish this rulemaking in the next few months, especially after 12 years of dysfunction, and let's protect the water we have left. Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time and urge my colleagues to oppose this rule. I thank the gentlelady. Uh, before I recognize other members, I